Watching some of the extreme flight tests the new 747-8 freighter has been performing can make your heart skip a beat. In November, Boeing test pilots repeatedly dragged the airplane's tail on a California runway. The velocity minimum unstick test is designed to figure out the lowest speed the freighter can take off. As Captain Mark Firestein, the chief test pilot for the 747-8 will tell you, it is a difficult maneuver to pull off. It's a balance between being forceful and being gentle. We want to be forceful to get the airplane's tail moving down towards the runway. But of course, we want to be very gentle when we set the airplane's tail down on the runway. It was all force when the 747-8, loaded down with 1,005,000 pounds, soared into the sky. Well, since this flight in June, the airplane has broken its own record by taking off at 1,010,000 pounds. Right after takeoff and prior to landing, the issue of ground effects comes into play. So over several days in October, test pilots commanded the 747-8 freighter to basically hover over the runway. This examines the aerodynamic effects when the airplane is close to the ground. This test helps verify the jet's stability and control while gathering data for the engineering team to finalize the Autoland system. Different weights of the airplane, different flap settings of the airplane, um, really understanding and, and simulating uh, what the airplane could see in service. Once the airplane is in the clouds, the gravity-defying tests continue. Recover. In this clip from August, the pilots purposely put the freighter into a stall to make sure it can recover and time and again the airplane was up to the challenge. In most of the stalls that I've flown, I merely relaxed back pressure on the column to neutral column and the airplane recovers just fine. We are cleared for kicks. The pilots are also verifying the airplane can dampen out vibrations when they intentionally pulse or excite the wing and other control surfaces. While the 747-8 freighter officially cleared flutter testing earlier in the year, the program continues to test for flutter as it refines the flight control laws. You know, we've made significant progress in resolving the issues that we found during the flight test program. We have implemented fixes on the airplane, and we are now driving towards all of the fundamental testing that we have to complete to certify and deliver the airplanes. The four test airplanes are nearing 1,500 flight hours, which is the halfway mark toward certification. The pilot who has been in the flight deck for many of those hours says it truly is an amazing machine. If I had the chance to talk to a, uh, a new 747-8 pilot, I would tell him, be excited. It's going to deliver on the promise of better efficiency, better performance, payload, and a quieter machine. But best of all, from a pilot's perspective, they're going to enjoy flying it.